feel the need to see you I don't search for you at all I'm not asking you, I'm telling you Let go What are you looking for? Tell me what you're looking for I felt alone, you needed more At least I'm knocking at my door What are you looking for? Tell me what you're looking for I felt alone, you needed more So I'm gonna disconnect power so I can show you what I did before I fry myself since that's actually um, this contraption is fun to build in a day but um, be aware that it's uninsulated metal uh, and dangerous high voltages, so uh, I don't recommend recommend to build the same because it's um, yeah. First of all, well, several reasons it's dangerous. Secondly, it's uh, it's definitely not the best way to go, of course. So I'll just walk you through it. I think so. I uh, soldered the lead here on this uh, copper uh, strip that I uh, mounted inside the panel and since the panels are um, together at this moment this copper strip connects to the coating and charges the membrane so if we follow the wire this wire it's the yellow one will uh, end up here there it is then it goes to this multiplier, a Cockroft Walton multiplier, uh, EEV block. Uh, the guy uh, I forgot his name, but he, he did a really nice explanation on how this works. Uh, it's not a doubler, but it's a multiplier. So in this case, it's three stages, and I feed it with a. Um, it is a, a high voltage unit for um, CCFL lamps, cold cathode fluorescent lamp. Yeah, that's it. Same as uh, you got in uh, laptops and such for the backlight. But watch this episode from EEV blog because he's uh, well, he's far more technical than I am. That's for sure. And uh, it was a really nice explanation. Uh, but uh, it was uh, it's been a while that I watched it so uh, well um, you you most ESLs have a Cockroft Walton multiplier in it but far more stages because usually they feed it with 230 or something um, because I use this inverter thing uh, I can up this voltage but the most Prominent benefit is actually uh, the fact that I can use this tiny, simple, is it the LM uh, blah -de blah I don't know, voltage regulator thing, step down converter, DC, DC. So 24 volts comes in and I can adjust here the output voltage and I think it's at around 8 volt right now or 9 volt. Reason is the panel I said tension is not so important. Well, it is in fact important not for the resonance, but it is important to get the, the to keep the mylar stable in between these metal plates. Usually, it will tend to stick to one of the sides. That and because the whole thing is not insulated, if I crank up the voltage on the bias, it's uh, easier to jump to uh, one of the stators. If the voltage is high on the stators, depending on them. Uh, the music or whatever you feed it. So that's the uh, whole uh, high voltage thing. Uh, and then there's here a wire connected and this is like sort of the reference because this high voltage is between this point and the output here. This goes to the the membrane and this one, this lead, goes to the tap middle tap of a transformer if the transformer has a middle tap. 
for an electrostatic speaker you must have one. Uh, so this is uh, a transformer for electrostatic speakers. It's a quite big one by the way, for this kind of setup at least. Uh, and you can see the wires here are to together. So this is the center tap. And the center tap is uh, actually... Uh, yeah, if you got the secondary winding, then somewhere in the middle, there comes uh, two two wires uh, get out of the transformer, and that's the center tap, and then it continues. So it's sort of the middle point of the secondary. Not all transformers have this, so that's a problem if you want to use it for electrostatic speakers. But more of that later. Then on the uh, secondary we got uh, a gray wire and a pink, or pink, it's yellow, no orange, sorry, I'm blind. Orange wire, and these go to the to the stators, the front and the back. So they receive the high voltage audio signal from this transformer. From the transformer, on the primary side, we connected just a simple class D amp, the 3116, I think, uh, and I added a small cap in between because, uh, yeah, it's not gonna play low end, so I might as well not give it to him. And then on the Class D amp, I got my phone. Uh, it doesn't play really loud, and there are several reasons why. Uh, first of all, my phone doesn't output that high, uh, you know, well, not enough voltage to use the amplifier to the max. Then again, this is a class D amplifier and probably doesn't like the transformer very much. Then the high voltage, I cannot crank it up more than this because um, it it tends to flash over to the uninsulated stators. And then again, the stators are uninsulated, so if I drive it too hard with the transformer, it will flash as well. So that's a reason why you will normally insulate them. But that's uh, actually the setup. And uh, it took me uh, way longer than I planned because normally this is something I do in a few hours. But I, I don't know. I wanted to make a fast coding myself. Then I decided to use a commercial one and then I, well, I did make one myself and then I wasn't happy etc blah 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 but yeah that's uh, a panel I'm not gonna use it I'm probably gonna throw it away straight away not right now but uh, I wanted to use some really cheap transformers uh, I can show you because this is the second method you can use if you don't have a center tab like these transformers. These are very tiny power transformers. The blue leads are the primary, normally connected to 230, just the uh, normal uh, voltage on the, the net. And the white ones are... Uh, no, it's the other way around, sorry. The white ones are normally... <laughs> it's tricky. The white ones are normally connected to the 230 and the blue ones, in this case, I think it was 6 volts. I'm not sure what they um, output. I think it was 6 volts. But in this case, we're going to use them the other way around. So the normal output, output wires are going to be our input wires. So it be the secondary becomes the primary. And then what we do, the before primary, <clears throat> is now our secondary and we're gonna wire them in series so this is the beginning of the one winding this is the end for this transformer and it's connected to the beginning of the winding of this the second transformer and this is the end of it so now we got these two connections and a center tab so if we connect it we connect the center tab to the Cockcroft Walton multiplier we connect uh, our audio signal to the previous 
secondaries, now our primaries, and then I don't have a nice clip for, for these wires. This is one of the stators, we're gonna wrap it around this wire, and the other stator is gonna be on our other transformers wire. So now we kind of um, connected some very crappy tiny transformers backwards and we used the <laughs> previous secondary we use it as a primary right now and put them in parallel and the previous primaries we use it as secondaries and put them in series Whew. it's getting complicated is it? I don't know so it's connected um, let's see what it does I noticed uh, quite a difference uh, straight away. I don't even have to measure it. I'm not even going to do it. So, power it up. Going to lower you. I wonder if you can hear it as well. I think so. I don't feel the need to see you. I don't search for you at all. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Let go. What are you looking for? Tell me what you're looking for. I felt alone, you needed more. At least I'm knocking at my door. What are you looking for? Tell me what you're looking for. I felt alone, you needed more. You lonesome man, you lonesome man. Cause I don't live here anymore. Well, first of all, what is noticeable is it's a way, uh, it, it's not as loud. Uh, it has to do with the step up ratio. So I think these are uh, two six volt thingies. So uh, you divide 230 divided by six, and then you got the step up, step up ratio for one transformer. And now, because we have our primaries in parallel and our secondaries in series, it, it will double that. But still, it's not the same ratio as the bigger transformer because it had 120 step-up ratio. So that's the volume difference. But more noticeable, or not maybe not more, but the high end, high end treble, the the sparkle, the whatever, it's not there, and it sounds uh, like it's uh, working really hard, and it just sounds a bit muffled, and it doesn't sound good. So these are for this panel, maybe for every panel because this is a quite small panel. This is uh, too much for for these. So uh, I think they might go into the garbage, or they probably end up with the rest of my transformers. Just to you, well, you might need them once. So, but these suck. Um, I got some different ones. I got these uh, small um, Teroid ones from Amplimo, which is a good brand. But of course, it's not meant to be used as um, an audio tra uh, transformer. But I know um, Charlie, I think, from DIY Audio used the Antec, I think. Those are pretty cheap transformers as well, and they, he used the 15, 50 volt ampere. 6 volts to 230 or all the way around, but transformers. And then in the same co configuration, and it, they worked really well. Uh, these are uh, smaller even as the Antec, but I think they were uh, on sale, so I bought them. And there's also this Polish company that makes really cheap transformers. I uh, would like to try a few of these. Look how, how small and tiny they are. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna connect them because it's the same as these, but they... And the output is also almost the same, but it sounds way better. Um, things that go wrong with it, this panel is, uh, well, quite obvious. No insulation. Too big of a plate, if you compare it to what is actually driven area so I'm loading the transformers more than I should but that's the thing you get with metal 
usually. So it's not my uh, go-to material to use for an electrostatic speaker. Um, but yeah, I think that's uh, it for now. It's not an amazing thing, but I hope you'll uh, kind of know how it kind of sticks together. Hopefully. I might do a proper one. Eventually. I still want to play with the stacked version. If you don't know what it is, maybe look it up in my old videos. I don't explain as much there, but uh, it's this, but then several stacks and, uh, and a neat little trick. That's the reason why I got two of these Cockroft Waltons, but I am, um, yeah, well, you will see. I think that's it for now. I'm gonna drink my coffee.